advance boldly. Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 and 19. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. We're talking about moving forward with God, journeying with God to take new ground, to take new territory, to move out of where we are into our destiny. And one important part of that journey into our destiny, that journey into taking new ground, the journey into moving into new territory is to learn to advance boldly. And we can do that because we are part of a church that Jesus Christ is building, that Jesus Christ himself has wested with the authority of his kingdom. In the passage we read, just read, Jesus is telling Peter, I will build my church on this rock, the rock of the revealed knowledge that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God. That is our foundation. The church is built on that truth is established on that revelation. And Jesus said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That means the authority of God's kingdom is vested in his people. That is in you. God has vested you with kingdom authority. And we have the authority to bind and loose on earth, even as God would have us have it bound and loose up in, as he's declared it in heaven. So we release the purposes of God here on earth with the authority that Jesus Christ has given us. And he says, even the gates of hell will not be able to prevail against that church. The gates of hell represent the powers of darkness. They represent the activity of demons here on earth. And he says, the authority that we have will enable us to overpower the works of darkness. Now, in what way is this important to our journey into our destiny? You know, as we journey with God, there are going to be places and areas uh, that are occupied and that are controlled by demonic powers. And that should not in any way deter you from moving in. You are someone authorized by the Lord Jesus Christ. You have been given the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and he has already announced that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church, meaning the powers of hell will not be able to restrain or stop or prevent the advancing church. And so you can advance into those places where you find there is demonic activity, where you find that the enemy is already busy at work. But that's the region God wants you to take for his kingdom. Those are the areas God wants you to move in, but you know there are enemies there. What do you do? Use the authority that Jesus Christ has given you. Bind what the enemy is doing. Release the power of God's kingdom. Release the work of the Holy Spirit. Release the work of angelic beings and move forward boldly. This is God, what the Lord expected his people of Israel to do as he was taking them into the promised land. As they crossed the river Jordan, the land uh, which God said was, would belong to them was already occupied. There were enemies in that land. So it wasn't just something they moved in and settled in easily. They had to, have, they had to fight battles. They had to overpower enemies and they had to advance boldly. So the encouragement for you and me is this. As you move into the territory that you know God wants you to take, advance boldly with the authority God has given you. You can overpower any and all form of evil that you see at work in those areas that God wants you to move into. Whether it's in your business, whether it's in your school, your college, your place of work, wherever, advance boldly. Authority is in your hands. Let's pray. Father, we ask for the grace to advance boldly into those territories you want us to occupy. That no amount of demonic work or activity in those spheres, in those areas, will deter us because we know we are authorized by heaven. Enable us to advance boldly, we pray in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.